Ice rescues are a serious operation for the Colorado Springs Fire Department. So people are always calling, people are still out here fishing, so it's very important for these guys to be prepped and ready to go and be well trained. The crew welcomed KRDO to a recent recertification training at Pikeview Reservoir. <laughs> After getting geared up in a waterproof dry suit, I got a life-saving demonstration by Lieutenant Jason Leach, who's been with the department for 25 years. Then you're going to try and do the self-rescue. So we want to have your elbows up on the edge, try and bounce yourself up, try an army crawl Rambo style up. When you're successful with that, as soon as you get on the edge, you want to stop crawling and roll. With that in mind, the fateful walk on ice begins. What happens is when somebody falls through is they, they still break the ice as they're trying to get out. They get on that ice shelf, they break. They get on that ice shelf and break. And that's exactly what happened. I stayed calm, remembered to breathe, and once I started to kick my legs and use my lower body, I was able to roll away. Lieutenant Leach says it's important to remember the law of cold water survival if you ever find yourself in this situation. It's known as the 1101 rule. You have one minute to catch your breath after you fall in, you have 10 minutes before hypothermia sets in, and one hour before you lose consciousness. You're, you're a smaller person, you're going to lose your body heat quicker. That's going to dissipate really quick, and hypothermia will set in pretty darn quick. Even with the proper gear, I was still cold and wet when it was all said and done which really put falling through thin ice when you least expect it into scary real focus. It was absolutely freezing and I'm in a suit, but my feet are super wet and I definitely got a lot of water in from the hips down. So I think that's something you have to remember too. I'm in a protective outfit and I'm still cold. So imagine falling in and not being in the right gear, being in everyday clothes, you could really have some serious health risks and hypothermia could absolutely kick in. Yeah, get it all the way off. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow, hey, those leaks. Burr. <laughs> in Colorado Springs, I'm Bryn Carmen, Cardio News.